What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views! And just go. Just fire the fucking intro and let's just get right into it. Views. You guys excited about Costa Rica? I'm pumped. All right, fuck it. Yeah, I'm sure it's under here. I know yeah. you guys are wondering. <laughs> Whoa. I know. Oh, my I God. Know. I can't believe you just showed your chest. Uh, I know. I know. Well, a lot of people Scandal. are commenting right currently. Why don't you show your... You never appear with your shirt off. Why is that? It's it's uh, it's something I like to keep to myself. He's embarrassed. Wait, What's wait, he you, embarrassed about? What does it look like? Have you ripped. seen him with the shirt off? He's making okay, that. You can't body shame me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, he's he's, he's made, Go ahead. Well, I don't know why, why. Yeah, why is it that you don't like to take your shirt off? Well, it, it's because honestly, like I'm fat. No, I, I, no I, honestly, you're not. You're not so it. skinny. No, no. Honestly, it's because like I've always wanted to be like in shape when I did it, and like I'm putting it off forever. But like now. Now Ilya's going to get me in shape, apparently, mm -hmm. and like yeah. that'll be the time where I'll like. You've made it such like a thing I know, in I your own head that now you, you won't. You know what I said? I, I said, I said in the like, it was like my dead ass. I'm not taking my shirt off till I have a six pack. Is that what you said? Now you have to like stick to no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, like in my seventh vlog, I was like, when I hit... my seventh vlog. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, everyone was like, why are people sh always shirtless around you and you're never shirtless? Yeah. They're like, like 600 vlogs? And I was like, yeah, but it was my seventh <laughs> or some shit. And I was like, fuck it, 100th vlog, I'm shirtless. And then we hit 100, and I'm like, I've gained weight. <laughs> <laughs> you made it such a thing that when I am in the hot tub with you and you like get out to get a towel or something, <laughs> I actually go like this. And like, <laughs> <laughs> look away because i'm like i'm not supposed to see him shirtless like uh, and it's like my own brain like made that choice yeah well that's good that's that means you're respectful i yeah. am i want to be respectful you, you want to save it for the surprise when Ilya's done <laughs> you're just saving yourself for when Ilya gets me in shape yeah, yeah. you, you don't want to ruin it <laughs> <And> finally <laughs> <laughs> You've had i'm the with opposite me. when You've he's like naked I'm like, times. i stare <laughs> extra <laughs> intently <laughs> it's crazy there's a lot of times where i'm in the tub alone and I'm completely naked in it. And you guys are all Ew. walking around. The house. It's not gross. Jonah did it with us the other day. Jonah was like, Jonah took his pants off. And like, for a second, you're like, that's disgusting. Right. But then you think about it. We're technically all naked in the in the hot tub. Yeah. Like all our genitals are just touching the water and the droplets are like. I mean, like it and I love going good. underwater to hold my breath for as long as I can. And, and I know I'm down there for like three minutes swimming around Natalie's vagina, just, ew, like, just ew, like ew, getting ew, everything ew. out of the way. I mean, it's the truth. Hot well, tubs are so fucking disgusting. That's why I don't, I don't like hot tubbing. You ask me all the time, and I'm like, no, 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 and no. Okay, it's gross. And I will say, this is where I crossed the line with Jonah. Jonah was naked, and then he made the fucking nastiest comment. He's like, he's like, when you put your asshole to the jets, it's like it's cleaning it out. Ew! Oh god. <laughs> my god and it's really it's really fucking gross it's really gross yeah. to get his asshole cleaned while we're in there with him that that's what that's why i was like okay i'm like <laughs> i should draw the line at some point with the with the hot tub shenanigans but having too many people in it at one time how, how are you guys in locker rooms and people are naked does that creep you out um no i well, i can't pee around people <laughs> i could never i could what never do, you do it in an airport no i have to like i have to like be away I've like become really confident about saying I can't pee around people. So like we were at the Drake concert the other day and I had to go pee and there was just too many people in there, but there was like a long line. It was like a line of like 20 people outside waiting and I waited for like five minutes right. and I went in and all the urinals were gone and I was just like, fuck it, I'm out. And I said it out loud. I was like, I'm out. I can't pee around you guys. I'm sorry. Cause like, cause it was just like, I have to. Why don't you go in the stall? Mm -hmm. The stalls were busy. Oh, yeah. So what you and, do? And people were sitting down, so I could tell they were going to be there for a while. So you just hold? You <laughs> held it? Um, no, I left. I went home. Oh, you, you left the party? Home to pee? Yeah, I didn't go home to pee. I just left. I went, went to somewhere else. Oh. But it was like, I don't know. I'm just so not. You just don't pee in public, period. Unless I'm tipsy or drunk, then I can like, I could, I could yeah, pee on Elias' face if I need outside. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weren't but, you peeing outside the other night and there was gunshots? Oh my God! Yeah. Where? But there was no one around. Where? The only shooting oh, right. we've ever been around <laughs> our entire life. Yeah, you guys really, you guys hey, really hey. like didn't tell me anything about it. I'm kind of pissed because it sounds like pretty crazy. It was actually it was pretty weird. insane. Yeah, it was pretty. Oh, I forgot you were there. I don't know why I thought I forgot we were together. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were. 
<laughs> Jeez, Dave, you're lucky you're alive. Natalie would have fucking left you for dead. I know. <laughs> Come on, Todd, let's go. <laughs> Does everyone, get everyone in the car. Todd, Zane, Ilya. Yep, that's everybody. Yeah, we were outside of a. Oh. We're not everybody. We were outside of a club in LA, and um, and I went to go pee, like around the corner. Yeah, because the bathrooms were busy inside. Seriously, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. that almost killed you. Your no, phobia. No, no, no it it's... actually saved me. Uh, That's true. It genuinely saved me because everybody was at the door waiting to get in the club. The club was closed. Um, but everyone but, was still trying to get in. But everyone was, was still trying to get in because there's a huge after party. Um, I, so I went to go pee, and then fucking like six shots went off. I've never, I've never actually heard gunshots that loud? close in yeah, my life. Either. Yeah, super yeah, loud. it's so like loud. it's like it's like being. 10 feet away from a firecracker when I was like 100 feet away from the shots. Yeah. Right. And yeah, and they went off and then just everybody was just fucking running. Scrambling, yeah. Yeah, like it was. And there was already like, just to make the picture a little bit, it was like at the intersection, there was already like hundreds of, there was probably 100 people outside the club trying to get in. Yeah. So there was a huge crowd and all the police kind of were pulling up already at the time to clear out the street and everything. And then as we were crossing the street, leaving the club, you hear like Six, seven, eight gunshots go off, just I, like a fire. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. All of LA was at this intersection. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm, I'm. It was the only place open still after right. you know. Yeah, having all these I'm not parties. even saying like all of LA, like just people. I'm saying like in like celebrity wise, like yeah. it was like a really big after party. Oh, so oh. everybody was there. Yeah. So like, were you like, thank God I'm alive? I honestly, my first reaction when it happened, as we were crossing the street, Todd Im- like immediately grabbed me for like cover to run, and I was Yo, like, "Yo, that's I- a real man." No, no, he like grabbed her as cover <laughs> to run. <laughs> he felt he her up me. in that moment. He I- grabbed her tits and <laughs> turned her oh, around. Wow. He's like, "If we're going out in this moment, yes, I'm gonna, I need gra- that I'm gonna get a little fair fast." <laughs> 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 no, but I, I thought it was, I didn't think it was real because I've never been a part of a situation like that yeah. ever. I never would think that I would be. And I thought that, I thought it was, <laughs> Todd was like, you're an idiot. This is just proves that you would, you know, whatever. I thought that it was the police just loading off like fake, like blanks to clear the street out. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> party's over <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> what what party have you been to where the cops are just like man it's getting late i'm gonna fire some shots off okay yeah yeah, yeah. you go do that <laughs> uh, this will clear him out i don't know i don't know everybody I just, home i just that was my that Todd, was my first time Todd, it's okay they just want us to go home <laughs> not in the barrio Todd, just call the uber I'll wait here. I don't know. And I was the fucking DD that night. So then everyone was like, no, this is real. This is serious. So I had to like open the car. Everyone's rushing in. We had like 10 people in the Tesla all packed in. They're like, go, 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 get away. And I'm like behind the Tesla wheel, like frantically not not knowing what to do. Did did you make it into the Tesla? Yeah, I made it. Of course. (laughs) I mean, barely. I fucking had no room when I got there. (laughs) You know, yeah, there was no, there wasn't a seat left for David in his own car. Were Were you drunk? Uh no, no 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 I was had a drink so I just drove but no actually I was tipsy but I I, I ran to I don't know why I had to clarify that <laughs> yeah, I was like okay we're tipsy like uh I drink <laughs> yeah yeah I am fine you, you wanted to flex a little bit yeah like, yeah, yeah like, I, I, I had a good time I, I, I drink sometimes <laughs> I know how to get a party um no but I I was running to where it all happened and my buddy was there on the ground oh who, yeah who I haven't seen in like. In like three, four years. I'm not kidding. Like, and, um, and yeah, he was on the ground and the cops were like, sir, are you hit? Are you hit? And, and, and he sees me and he goes, Dobrik. (laughs) (laughs) And he gets up and he goes, how have you been? And immediately takes out his phone. And he goes, I haven't seen this dude in about four years. Oh my God. (laughs) And just like snapped right into like Instagram selfie mode. Um. (laughs) Um, but yeah, no, that was it, it. Was a crazy experience. I don't think he wasn't it, shot though. No, no, he no, just he was, was laying down for cover. He was, but there, there were, there were. I don't know. No he one was takes killed. An Instagram photo in that moment. It was a video. Well, it was John. It was like over at that point. Oh. I think. I don't know if it was. I don't know. I don't think anybody got killed. No, no, no. Three people were shot. That's it. Yeah, but like I remember, like it was like, like I was. After it happened, I was like curious what happened, and they, the, the guy was bloody on his arm. And he he was literally like, saw one of the one guy got shot in the arm, and he literally got into his Uber or some car. Like and was Uber like, XL in the middle of the street. He's like, "Hospital now, now, now!" It was crazy. I've never, I've heard shots like around my apartment because I lived in like Hollywood, but I've never like 
been at the location of something like that happening and it was it was a bizarre experience that's so crazy we haven't talked about it in like yeah. two, three weeks what about you i got into an argument yesterday with who we're, sh- we're shots a neighbor fired? shots fired. did you fire off shots <laughs> I, sh- I killed him <laughs> just warning shots are him to go home like natalie said <laughs> <laughs> get back in your house it's too late <laughs> quiet down <laughs> Wait, you got into an actual argument with your neighbor? It's like I was walking the dog. Dude, and those are the worst. I was walking the dog, and the dude, dog. I hate those. Yeah, they those are, are so. <laughs> they are like, bad. No, no, no. no I, I talk. I, yeah, I know. I was trying to interrupt him because all the comments are always like, "David always interrupts people." <laughs> <laughs> so like, I either have to double down and keep doing it more, or I have to like right. be really aware of it. So I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll try to be more aware of it. Go. I I was walking the dog, and the dog pooped, and um, you know, and I picked it up. But sometimes it's kind of creamy, you know? And so there was like, <laughs> there was like a stain on, the, you, you can barely get through this story. Well, no, it's just, <laughs> it's just funny because it's like, this is what the podcast is, right? Yeah. It's like, you have like the like the 25 year old nightlife stories and then you have, this hap- this probably happened this, this is the what, same night. Yeah, it probably, <laughs> probably did. <laughs> so glad I wasn't with you. Um, and and You're up cleaning up your poop. own dog I'm poop. cleaning up the poop, I pick it up. And the woman, she just, she just get in her car and she just goes, she goes, can you please pick your dog poop up? Mm-hmm. And I go, I did. I did pick it up. And she goes, it's still there. And I'm like, what do you want? You want me to get like a toothbrush? Like what, what do you want me to do? You said that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I, I picked it up. Like what, what do you want? It's a stain. Okay. And, um. Sorry, where, where was it? On the grass or on the asphalt? On the asphalt. Oh, okay. Oh. And then the. And she just looked absolutely nuts. And then the husband came out and he just came out and he was like, what's going on? What's going on? He's like, he's like you're talking to my wife like that? You're talking to what's going on? And I go, I go. Dude, I go, what, is, what is wrong with people? Like, yeah, people I, are it tense. It doesn't sound like a real scenario. No, it doesn't. He literally came out. Why are you, you talking about making it up? No, it, <laughs> it's unfortunate that you're not making it up. Like, so he goes. Chillax. He, he goes, <laughs> come on, bro. He's like ready though. to fucking fight me. Like, and and I just looked at him and I go, I go. She started yelling at me for picking up, not picking up my dog poop, but I I did pick it up. And he just looks down at the poop and he just goes, Oh yeah, yeah, all right. And he just walked in, like basically saying like, Yeah, I know she's fucking nuts. Like that was basically oh, okay. what 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 I got from it. So it's a happy ending. Yeah, it was a happy ending. Like I didn't do anything wrong. What do you do after a situation like that when you go back? Do you like have to unwind or do you just like go back to your regularly scheduled like I used to be like that would like throw me off for the whole day. I'd be so mad, but now I'm much better. Now I'm just like I stopped caring about everything. So I'm just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> whatever. I know everybody's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I am too. Do you think that like if you like encountered like aliens like what? How are you going to aliens now? I don't know. Let him finish. Well, I actually don't know where I'm going with it. It's, I'm if glad I enc- Natalie stopped if, me. If I, enc- <laughs> if I encountered aliens, would I be upset? Well, no, no. Like, I'm just like wondering, like, to what extent would you just be like, ah, the world's fucking crazy? Like, like to what extent would you just resume your regular day because uh, you're so, like, cold to everything now? Yeah, pretty much anything. Yeah. I, t- I could see anything and just go right back to, like, make a mistake. Like, like okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. if an alien came by, yeah, and you were with your son, yeah. and he he came up to the window and he goes, bzz, 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 <laughs> and he goes, "We're going to eat your son unless you give me your t-shirt and your hat," and like, <laughs> well, now you cross the line. No, 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 no. But, 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 <laughs> but like, obviously, if it's my son, I'll but, be upset. But but then you go, okay, just a t-shirt and a hat. I'll give him my t-shirt and a hat. Oh right, right. Yeah, yeah. So you give him your t-shirt and hat. Yeah. And then he goes, bzz, 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 but also you cannot tell anybody about this. And then you go, okay. And then from that, from that, from that moment, how long would it take you? How long would it take you to just go back to regular stuff? Would you just be like, yeah, that's LA? <laughs> I literally would go just right back to it. Yeah. Like I've had all this stuff happen this week and everyone around me is like upset and I'm just like, yeah. Right. right. <laughs> you know, like I, 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 I like Jess and I, we had some work problems or whatever, and you know she's younger or whatever, and she's like flipping out, and I'm just like, well, yeah, then it won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you, I like you won't have a job. <laughs> Is that the worst thing in the world? Like you'll you'll find something else to do if I can't afford to keep you. Right. You know what I mean? Just that's you- that's where I'm at in life, and it's kind of liberating. 
it's kind of nice just to be like, yeah, mm-hmm. it'll work or it won't. I'm almost like I'm almost where you are, but not yeah. in such a cynical way. Right. I wish I wasn't so cynical. I really do. Like I, I, I agree with like your philosophy on like your philosophy. Like if I lost <laughs> everything, right? Like let's say I lost everything today. Mm-hmm. Like no more podcasts, no more YouTube channel. Like I'm like really scared of that. You know, that's like my biggest fear. And then I had the thought like, huh, maybe that's what needs to happen. You know, like maybe I'll survive. Cut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like He's going off on the deep end. <laughs> like I have this, I have, no, this I, I have this thing like, oh man, I don't want to fucking be working at Starbucks when I'm 65. Right. right. And then I thought. There's something cool about that. Like I'll survive. I actually saw a TikTok about that the other day. Yeah. Someone was like, I work a nine to five. Can we stop shaming nine to five jobs? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I love it. I love being able to have weekends to enjoy my hobbies. It's and then, amazing. And then I go nine to five to work. And like, that's like, I love a routine. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah. Before I met you, I was installing speakers. Really? And I fucking loved it. Wait, you were doing something that has to do with technology? Right before I met you, I had no money. And I was like, I'm broke. And my friend's like, why well, I do these speaker shows. You can help me set up the shows. They're like trade shows where people, you come in, you bring everything in, you set it up. And then people come look at the speakers and they say if they want to buy it or not. Oh, okay, okay. And I was doing that and it was so great because you don't have to think like our job, you're like, fuck, I got to think of something funny. There's homework. Think, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. it was done. I was like, Oh, I'm going to fucking chill out. Yeah, like once the speakers are set up, you don't need to go home thinking about like, no, how am I going to make the next speaker? Yeah, how am I going to set these in? speakers up tomorrow? Right. <laughs> I know how to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess that is kind of nice. Yeah. It's like Natalie, she's always worried about like what's going to happen around here, right? Right. She's, she has twitches. She does. <laughs> yeah. she, she twitches from stress. I have a twitch now. She has a twitch. Wait, do you actually? Yeah, I have like a little tech like sometimes. Uh, I think I've seen that, right? Probably, yeah. The other day I asked <laughs> Natalie to hot tub. You're like, I think I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other, I wind up to sock you in the face. The other day I, I asked Natalie to hot tub and she was like, I'm going home. I'm so tired. And then 20 minutes later, I'm like laying in bed because like bummed that Natalie can't like hot tub with me. <laughs> and yeah, Bad. it's like that. And all I hear from the staircase is. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and i text her and i was like hey you're still here want a hot tub <laughs> and she responds she's like i knew that hiccup was gonna fuck me <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that was funny you know i was I looking that. into the other day i was looking at um uh treasure hunters i think it's so interesting i watched the movie fool's gold yeah matthew other, McConaughey. with matthew mcconaughey kate hudson yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you know it. I just, I just think it's like such an interesting like concept, like that. There's people that like just look for treasure and they find it. And like, yeah. like, did you hear about? <clears throat> it's the whole plot of uh, Outer Banks. Really, they're looking for treasure. Yeah, his father like makes a map. <laughs> yeah, and um, That's the whole point. and then eventually the kid finds the map. The father dies, and the kid finds the map, and he's got to go find the treasure. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, there's this guy named Forrest Fenn. He, um, did you hear about this? No. It's it, like it was years ago. I, I guess like. But he made like a book. He's a big treasure hunter. Mm-hmm. And he wrote this like biography or whatever about all his hunts. And in the book, he put in a, a he featured a poem and it was where he hid his treasure. Oh. So he he's a treasure hunter and he wanted to encourage people to go like out into the world and to like find treasures of their own. Wow. And it was like one to five million dollars in a literal treasure chest. And he hid it somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. Um, and people for like the next like 10 years were looking for it. It was just recently, it was like a year or two ago, someone found it and like it was in Montana and um, and it took like eight, nine years to find this fucking thing. Is there Whoa. like clues and shit? It was just the poem. So the poem was like, go left up this mountain and right down this hill. <laughs> I mean, like, how does the poem go? No, I'm go sure. Left up this mountain, right up this hill. Did and that's how you know you have found the till. <laughs> <laughs> Did they say the location of where it was found or no? No, no. It wasn't like it's like it's in Boulder, Colorado. And then he rhymed something with Colorado. It wasn't like that. It was more. It was like fucking like it was like national treasure shit, like a, like an old timey like poem. Like and Did some people read are, the poem. Okay, this is the poem. This is to find the treasure. As I have gone alone in there and with my treasures bold, I can keep my secret where and hint of riches new and old. Begin it where warm waters halt. and I know where it is. Where? (laughs) It's in the Rockies. It's in the the Glendale Galleria. (laughs) Um, From there, it's no place for the meek. The end is ever drawing nigh. 
There I'll be no paddle up your creek, just heavy loads and water high. If you've been wise and found the blaze, look quickly down your quest to seize. But tarry scant with marble gaze, just take the chest and go in peace. So why is it that I must go and leave my troll for all to seek? The answer I already know. I've done it, tired, and now I'm weak. So hear me all and listen good. Your effort will be worth the cold. If you are brave and in the wood, I'll give you, t- I'll give you the title to the gold. It's pretty fucking cool, huh? I mean, it's like straight out of a... No, it's, it's out of a movie. fucking movie. Yeah. How, do you, how do you begin to look? Well, it's literally, it literally says, begin it where warm water halts. So where the warm water stops and maybe flows into an ocean. So maybe like rivers are warmer than oceans. So maybe where the river stops or something like that. Maybe a like which a, river? Maybe like a lake, the one in Montana. <laughs> yeah, but like it doesn't also- say Montana. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It Doesn't say Montana. The guy must have just got lucky and just found it. I'd love to do that, like to hide. That would we be so much fun. In the Rockies. We should do a treasure hunt. What? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I fucking die out there. Yeah. If we gave you enough supplies. Yeah, hide me in the Rockies and then have like. Have all your fans come and try to find me. Dude, that's really funny. (laughs) That's a good idea. Well, you could just be in like a little log cabin and we could stock you up for like a month. Wow, dude, that'd be really funny. (laughs) You imagine every and everybody like on TikTok like live streaming their search for me? But you'd have to promise not to come out till someone knocks on the door. Oh yeah, I'd never come out. I'd fucking (laughs) love it. I'd sit there and I'd read books. And I've never read in my life. (laughs) Wow. I'd learn how to read for this whole thing. That would be so good. I have a big beard. Yeah, that would be sick. That would be the, the uh, best moment when someone finds you. The best. Yeah. What poem would you write? <laughs> <laughs> Follow the smell. It's a s- scary sc- stench. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's an idiot. Natalie's my wench. <laughs> um, I mean. Nah, I'm done. Do that. Hey, you, now we have an idea. We can go make a vlog. That would take a little while. <laughs> you forget about me. <laughs> Would I be able to contact you? Would I have like a cell phone? Uh, like, I'd probably call you. Like, you wouldn't be able to call me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think. How does that work? A one line phone? Like a pay phone type situation, and we'd give you no coins. And you'd. <laughs> Wait, and what does the person win when they find you? That's what I'm saying. Like, how, what are we giving someone? I don't know. You got to give them like 10 grand or something. I mean, like, to put all what do that. You, what do you get? Huh? I, I just get solace, peace of mind. <laughs> just out there. Just to be by yourself. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be great. I, I'm wondering though, like if we did it and like no one found you for a couple months, like yeah. like if like slowly I would like it just it'd just be like such a normal part of conversation where like we'd have guests on the podcast, it's just me and Natalie. And they're like, Have you guys found Jason? I'd be like, No, not yet. So what are you <laughs> <laughs> like I wonder if it would become like so normal where it's just be like nope, yeah the search is still on yeah he's out there yeah and we really hope somebody finds him yeah that you is forget where you put me yeah <laughs> I th- well, what if like literally I Natalie Nazi forgets guys? is it the Appalachians or the Rockies I, I I'm getting my poems mixed up <laughs> David where is the laptop with all the information about where Jason is I left it with Jason. <laughs> Dude, that's that's a really fun idea. Well, what about like even we can't do that. But you can't. But you could do. You have kids. I can go for a. You should put a time limit on it. It's a month. You can leave for a month. Yeah, it's a sick idea. It's so good. And then just imagine those people finding me. They find me the first day. (laughs) Because you couldn't make it up the hill. (laughs) We released the podcast, but you're still going to your your hiding spot. (laughs) Someone's at the Rockies watching the podcast. They just put their phone down. They see you hiking. Jason? You're like, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that would be cool. But someone would need to win something. And you need to like give them like a poem when, you, when they like get to you. Yeah, yeah. I'll have it I found the Jason Nash in the cave. <laughs> now listen to me and behave. <laughs> to reach my tokens and get my gold, make sure to listen and not call me old. <laughs> oh, hey, okay. It's, it it's itself. I mean, yeah, it'll be something mysterious like that. Let us know if you guys want. What, what are we doing in Costa Rica? Oh, I'm yeah, a little nervous talk, about it. Let's talk it. about this. Yeah, yeah, So we're going to Costa Rica. Right. Doing a bunch of activities. Okay. Now, one of the activities... There's actually two on the list that I'm like really intrigued about, but I don't know if I'm going to do. Um, something tells me I'm going to do neither, um, <laughs> but I do want to do both. Activity one is get bitten by a bullet ant. Our buddy Danny's going to be out there. He's gotten bit by a bullet ant before. He wants to do it again. 
um, it's like the most powerful insect bite in the insect kin- kingdom. And I've, I've always kind of just wanted to experience it just so I can get like a cute little bull ant tattoo like on my hand or something. Uh-huh. Just to say I've done it. Like I feel like it's a good story. Um, and then the other one is ayahuasca, which that one I'm like, that one I'm so curious about. So basically it's like, is it a tribal thing? I don't know. Yeah, I talked to my friend the other night uh, for like an hour about ayahuasca. She's done it like six times. And she's pretty hippy dippy and she really talked me out of it. So okay, so yeah. Costa Rica is a place to do ayahuasca. Ayahuasca is it's a substance you drink mm-hmm. it's and basically it's a plant and then basically like purges your entire body mm-hmm. and you well, what are the effects? I mean, I basically I don't want to have diarrhea around Natalie. Right. So <laughs> you throw up and you diarrhea. <laughs> that was for- the first thing I thought. I was like, Oh fuck, I'm gonna have diarrhea in front of Natalie. Mm-hmm. And that's not gonna be good. Yeah. And and she'll be scarred forever. So uh, hold on. Well, maybe uh, people are like, so ayahuasca just ayahuasca gives is. ayahuasca just laxatives. <laughs> uh, no, ayahuasca is like it's basically like DMT, right? Yeah, you either th- throw up or poop. No, it's like you, it, no, Jason. No. Oh, you have. What to, is the point? You the have point to tell is people what shit. it is if they don't know what, it, don't is. Know what it is. It's obviously not to just <laughs> shit. God, Jason, you are. A ma- oh. <laughs> 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 It didn't hurt. Just yeah, it didn't hurt. Yeah, why are you it, turning all red? It didn't hurt. <laughs> I have a hard head. Yeah, you fucking bozo. Oh, <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh my god. Uh, Jason just Jason just dropped his hat behind the couch and then he hit his head on <laughs> the, the head side on the of studio. the wall. <laughs> he hit his head on the studio. <laughs> um, How'd you do okay, that? Okay, no, Jay, we have to explain to people. Okay, go ahead. What ayahuasca is? Yeah, it's a plant that you find in the jungle. And you, um, it has hallucinogenic yeah. effects. You grind it up and you drink it. Oh my fucking dude! We have to. Explain I told you. What? I don't know. Look what is up. the point oh, of you, it? You, you, why do people do it? Why do they do it? Yeah. Oh oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> they people do ayahuasca for lots of reasons. Um, the main reason is they want to um, deal with uh, like past trauma and things like that. It, it like it's supposed to lead you, you know, settle unresolved issues inside you i mean it's like you straight you have like an out-of-body experience like it's like i think it's like the definition of like you know like when cartoons like show drugs or something and like the character like goes into like a a space that's all black or all white like Mm -hmm, i think that's exactly what ayahuasca is like it's like a complete out-of-body experience that you're doing for like that you're tripping on for like six to eight hours and the producers are saying it takes even a couple days to come down from the entire thing um but like it's a full-on like you're going through, and, and apparently a lot of times it is bad. It's like it could be either a great trip or a bad trip. And a lot of times it could be very much like a nightmare. And you have to go, I hear you have to go towards like the, like the you, have to, you have to. Come. I asked her that. I said, my friend said, you've got to go towards the darkness. And she said, uh, she says, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, she's like, you know, you have to go in with the intentions of like dealing with whatever is coming up. But if you fight that, then you're gonna have a bad. And what's time. an example she gave of like what happened when she did it? Um, well, her experience. She said she had a she she didn't ever have a bad time, but she did like shit herself. No. <laughs> oh my yeah, god! What, why are you so focused on dude, shitting? What's wrong? Yes. Yeah, what is? Sorry. Even just what, say, ask me again. Even what's an experience she had? Like even a good one. Um. Well, she said that she's like when you take it, you diarrhea everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We know, Jason. <laughs> she, said, my hat. she said, when you take it, um, she goes, you're going to hear jungle sounds right away. She's oh. like, and you'll see a big anaconda. Bro, what? Fuck it. <laughs> she said every time she took it, she heard jungle sounds, even though she was like in a house in like Northern California one time. She's like, you just hear the jungle sounds. Y- yeah, but it's different for every person. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. And I asked her, I go, is it is it fun? And she goes, oh, no, no. Not then fun. why does she do it? Why has she done uh, it six times? Um, I guess to like, for therapeutic reasons, just to like cleanse it her body. It helps her heal. Or? Yeah, and like heal or do. Yeah, I was talking to the guy, and like his buddy did it, and like completely changed his life. Like he came out of it, and he was like a completely different human than he was before. Well, like that's different I- values, different like interests, different hobbies, mm-hmm. like just a brand new person. Like he found out in himself what he needed to be. To be happy, which is fucking wicked. But like, again, a good point. Back to the diarrhea. I don't want to do that in Costa Rica. I don't. Your lady even said to wear a diaper. Oh, yeah. That was the other part. She was like, you and all your friends need to wear diapers. Like, I'm down to throw up for like an hour or two. But if I'm diarrheaing and I'm throwing up, like, 
That's going to be like, tough, especially on Discovery painful. Plus. Right. <laughs> yeah, and you have to butts. you have to like help each other like you have to like wipe each other's butts and stuff oh yeah that's what she that's what she said she said Wait, that someone is someone's wiping me. your ass as you're diarrheaing right, right right i don't care about the shit thing as much as you guys are caring about the shit thing but <laughs> my thing is like if you're hallucinating and you're seeing things then you're not in your current environment so like how are you able to like look at your friends and see your friends and interact with them and do things like i don't really you don't I don't think you do. I don't think it's like mushrooms There's, where you're like, ha ha ha, Natalie has a funny hat on. When did we, when, yeah. yeah, when did we say you're interacting with your current environment? Well, he just said that you have to help each other out. Yeah, you, your friend doesn't, you don't know that you're shitting and you don't know that your friend's wiping your ass from yeah. what I hear. But how is your friend, oh, your friend is sober though. Your friend is not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Your friend's not also hallucinating <laughs> and taking care of you. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> I am hallucinating that I am a caretaker. <laughs> <laughs> all right well that's all the time we have for today's podcast thank you guys for listening thanks thank for watching yeah and listening <laughs> did a good okay. job <laughs> now you uh, got anything to say um thank you guys for watching and, and listening <laughs> <laughs> dave what about you you got anything to say thanks for watching and listening and we'll see you guys next week my name is jeff Woo. bye, bye. bye. <laughs>